Good afternoon, Swagbox Nation again. This is uh, Evil Scotsman uh, giving you the next instalment of the game challenge uh, this week, which is to play any of the games that you would like and give a review on it. So I did flip out earlier and I did Key Crusher. Also, now on to Mahjong Dimensions. Mahjong Dimensions is basically what it says. It's, um, it's Mahjong. If anyone's ever played Mahjong before, uh, you match the uh, symbols. But this is slightly different because it's a 3D version and in the form of a cube. There is only three levels to it, but the third level is really hard and you only get five minutes to complete all three levels. I've never actually managed to complete the third level, but I know a lot of people out there that play this a lot have done so, so congratulations to them. I'm just not as good as them. I initially played a game similar to this way, way, way back when. Um, uh, nowadays, uh, there's only really a big fish that is out there. Um... Many years ago, when I was um, first uh, into uh, online, well, I wouldn't even say online gaming, but uh, playing these uh, little games, there was a company called Reflexive. Um, Big Fish was really, really small at the time. Um, game House, which is still around just now, was also a competitor. And Reflexive used to uh, bring out games every couple of days or every day in different categories. And they brought out a Mahjong game that was a 3D Mahjong game. And that's where I first like fell in love with the uh, 3D Mahjong. And it was similar to this, but... Um, they actually had like many, many levels on it. I can't actually remember the name of it. So when this game came out, I was absolutely thrilled because I, I initially started playing Mahjong. Oh, was it available on like the Atari ST, which takes me back over 20 years. But that was probably one of the first times that I played Mahjong on a uh, computer type of uh, place but now they've got this 3d one and like I said I really enjoy it it's a lot of fun um, level one can normally be done without having to move whatsoever and as you can see you just pick out the, the, the similarly matching symbols and you get bonuses if you do them, oh, I messed up there, quicker and without actually messing up. If you actually hover over some of them, you do get to see what is there. So that is also a little bit of helpful advice I can give you. Now, as you can see, the quicker you get the matches, the more, ah, oh, I messed that one up. The more of a bonus you seem to get from doing them. As you can see, I've not moved it whatsoever and I've messed that one up also. There you go. Maybe you get more than five minutes. It could be like six and a half. I'm not exactly sure. I wasn't paying it attention whatsoever they are um, but yeah the, the best way that I can say with this is to try not to move anything you can see some of them just by hovering over them and it does make it then so much easier to make the matches without actually moving uh, off of the oh, why can't I get that one oh. oh that was just a little bit of lag there that's marvellous always like getting lag in a game um, let's see what else is there 
I can't seem to get any more. Oh, there's another one. Is that is this one? Is that what do I have? Like I said, so I'm just trying to see oh, if I can get how much I can actually get without having to move whatsoever. And it's actually working out pretty well so far, especially even with the second one. Oh, see, I. Once again, there I thought I actually clicked the uh, proper box. Oh. Hmm. It's being rather odd to me sometimes, so I apologize. I know I'm not. I'm probably not going to finish the third one already. And yes, I did move it just to make it that little bit easier for me. Oh, it's, I think it's just started raining here. All of a sudden, a storm coming. I may have to cut this short. Because as far as I know, my dog is outside. There we go. I've got 153 to do the last one. And as you can see, the, the last one is like really, really big. And you really have to be on your toes and see all the matches really quick. As you can tell by that last one, I'm not the quickest always at finding matches. Um... And this one probably is best. You can like click one and move around. I will say that that is a good feature on it. Excuse me, uh, that you can uh, do that sort of thing. Um. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I don't see things, I know, it's just one of those things. But you do notice that they, they, do, they do appear up here for you, so... It does make it that little bit easier for you to uh, find your matches. And it's a very, very handy tip for you to... Um, just try and remember if you're wondering do you have the right matches mm, I'm looking I'm looking <sighs> yeah get that one too uh, and my time is up scored 18,300 that's not too bad anyway that is Mahjong Dimensions it's, like I said it's a very very popular game a lot of people really like it Mahjong is played all over and um, I've looked on a few few places to find some of the other 3D uh, Mahjongs that I used to play but I've not yet been able to find them so if I do find them I will let you guys know anyway this was Mahjong Dimensions um, and I will be doing Pegland next so this evil Scotsman oh I almost forgot I uh, forgot my um, my little plug for Veggie Margie, yes, it's branding. Uh, she always appears in uh, all of my videos. So uh, I hope to see you in the uh, in the blog posting your your review on some of the games, uh, Veggie Margie. Anyway, this is Evil Scotsman signing off.